Okay, and here we are at 3511 Duncan Street. Good location, within walking distance. It's a couple of streets over, and you're actually to Earth Fair, Jura High School area. And we are actually across the street from um, a public park, actually. You can see some kids playing over there on the playground. Just to kind of do a 360 here. Beautiful Shandon traditional home. Nice homes on both sides. Well manicured yards. And you can't see it from here, but actually across the street, um, that looks like a little clubhouse with a park, and they've got a big banner that says summer registration. So as we are coming into the property here, this one just hit the market. It's got four bedrooms, three full bathrooms, a little over 2,300 square feet. Nice little front porch area. Come in here and um, you have the living room area. Through the living room you can see the dining room. But first, we're going to check out the sunroom which is a really nice touch. So here we are in the living room. Go to the right and you have a beautiful sunroom that's been closed and you've got the tile flooring, beautiful windows, lots of natural light in this room. And then also I'm going to walk in the corner here and you can see that they have, you know, a built-in desk. That's very convenient, ceiling fan. And it looks like this is a good space for maybe the kids to t play. Because it appears that they have a couple of young children. I think a couple of little boys actually. Okay, so you come in here into walking back through the living room. I'm going to stop right here. This is the dining room quite spacious, higher ceilings, it's a red wall, but it is quite spacious because she's got a buffet and it's a six chair dining room table that she's got going. Just to kind of give you point of reference, okay, I'm going to back into the living room and that is the hallway that leads to the downstairs bedroom, that is the sunroom, okay? So walking back through the dining room here, do you notice, you know, the doors, which are nice, that you can shut? Now, I'm going to do a shot of the dining room from this angle here. Okay. And then through here, this is like a little butler's pantry area, which is nice that they have, you know, the additional cabinets and everything. And this hallway here, this is interesting. This is like kind of like the Eden area, if you will. It's just a small little room that's in between the dining room and the kitchen. Okay. So through this room, you come into the kitchen. The hardwood floors look okay. Um, you know, you've got the pantry, the stove, refrigerator, and the sink. Okay. It's a smaller kitchen. Um... But I think that there are possibilities. The nice thing is a lot of the historical characteristics are obviously still in play, like the glass transom on top. We'll walk through the kitchen here into the area where the downstairs bedrooms are. There's three bedrooms and one bathroom downstairs. Give you point of reference, that door leads back to the living room. And so we first come to bedroom number one downstairs. Got like a nice bunk bed type set up here and let's take a look at that closet space okay boy they really have their half their closets cleaned out they're ready for this house to sell all right let me get another view of the first bedroom okay so you come out of the first bedroom there's the stairs leading to the master there's the living room okay and let's head on over to our right. This is the downstairs bathroom. Nice tile. You know, it has been updated some. And then you have, um, you know, a tub 
shower condo uh, combo with glass block. That's nice. Okay. And then behind this door here, you've got, you know, storage for towels and such, which is really good. Medicine cabinet. Okay. So coming out into the hallway, you've got bedroom number two. Again, with the hardwood floors. They got a Clemson Tiger. We'll forgive them of that. Nice thing about this room is we've got two closets. Okay, we got some clothes in that one. And closet number two. All very nicely and neatly organized. One thing that I want to bring your attention to is the new windows. These are the double paned, double hung windows. Good for energy efficiency. I just love these little doorknobs too that they still have in place. Okay, so now we have one more bedroom. Now I see this with this big trunk. I'm kind of curious as to what that is. It might be a folding. Let's see here. Oh, can't get it open. Well, I guess we'll find out what that is. It looks like it's just like a little closet, perhaps, built into the wall. Here's bedroom number three. Have a nice day bed in here. Let's see here. You've got closet number one, which is actually pretty deep. That's nice. And then, um, of course, you got the bathroom in here, which is nice. Now, this bathroom has a toilet, a sink, and then a simple shower. But it certainly serves the purposes. And then it's got a built-in cabinet space as well. So, let me just get a shot of this room. Okay, so now let's take a look at the master. So we're going up the stairs here. I think that this must have been a converted attic space. And I know that from the look of another house, that the ceiling heights are going to be very important. So here I'm upstairs. I'm just going to lift the camera up. I'm pleasantly surprised as to the ceiling heights. Let me get a shot of the full master here coming upstairs. The ceiling heights, I would venture to say, are at least 9 to 10 feet. They've got like a little bump out there, which they have a desk. Okay. It appears that this is a queen size bed. Okay. Berber carpet. Let's take a look at that closet. The nice thing is you've got walk-in closet space, which is pretty nice to have. Okay, and then you also have attic storage space, which is really nice to have because as you can see, they are really maximizing the storage space. That work looks new too, I'm going to point that out. Okay, so let's take a look at the master bathroom. Pleasantly surprised, once again, two sinks, important stuff to have. Separate shower, whirlpool tub, also very nice to have. And it's a pretty good size shower, actually. And then the separate toilet. Okay. So let me just do one more shot of the bathroom. Walk-in closet, attic storage space. And the last thing that we have to do is the backyard. So we're going to go down the stairs here. So there's definitely a lot of pluses in this house. It's been updated. It's definitely move-in ready. Only thing I see is possibly the kitchen could stand a little bit of renovating, but it's certainly usable space. Um, through here, the kitchen, we have the laundry area. Nice thing is that's on the inside. It's two stackable units. And then back here, you have a fully fenced backyard and a doggy next door, as you can hear. But this is a nice deck area. 
and a gorgeous backyard. A gorgeous backyard with a play set that I feel like maybe we could negotiate into the contract with some shade trees but not too many. Sunny enough to catch some sun for a garden and also bonus storage room. So let me get a pan of the backyard so that you can see the back. Nice deck slash patio area there. Attentive dog next door. Okay. And that completes our tour of 3511 Duncan Street. Thank you so much.